Hmm, interesting. So how come it's four? Let me refresh here. Let's see the number of messages we get. So there's one, there's two. Okay, that's good. There should be two messages in here as well. Three, four. Hmm. Okay, looks uh, legit. Let's add one more message here just to skew with that number. This is a new message and send. And then we have a five there. Oh, so it's pretty accurate. Yes. But now once we read our message, we are not supposed to see that. We're supposed to edit the scene section there. So how do we do that? Well, let's look at where we are actually reading our messages from. So inside mess when we are inside the thread. So let's go to message to PHP. Let's see what we are using to read from a thread where we say chatting with. This is the point right here. And we are using the read section. But when we are reading a thread, uh, where is that thready, thready, thready reading? Uh, uh, ooh. Okay, so this is the one where we check all threads. We use read threads. Okay. So it means we have to mess around with read messages, read, which is right here. Nice. So all we have to do is if a message has made it to this point, it means the user has actually read it at that point. So we will go through all of these guys, figure out which of us are a minute why is seen only one and not like these two? Oh, that's because the one that needs to see the message is just the receiver that's it so i'll check where i am the receiver and then make sure i put seen to be true okay easy enough yeah so what i will do is here before i sort this out let me just do a for each loop here data key value so i will need the key in this in this case you'll see why i need it so let's see i'll say set scene to one that's what we are doing here now the reason i need a key is because we are assigning each row to this variable. Now, if we manipulate this variable, we are not actually manipulating this data variable. Yeah, because that's what we are returning after all. So no matter what I change in the row here, it doesn't affect the result. So I want to actually change from inside there, which is why I will need the key in order to identify currently which, uh, which part of the array I am editing. So. All I need here is a query, a very simple query. I will say query is equal to update messages, set scene is equal to one. But where exactly do we do that? Where the ID is equal to, let's create an ID called my ID. limit one we just don't want to do too much so we're uh, it's that simple so i'll just do this uh, what's the opposite of read in this particular one is it right oh terrible terrible it's save actually yeah okay so i'll copy this I should have made it right, but for some reason I used safe. Mm. Poor programming skills right there. Okay, so update messages set scene is equal to one where the ID is equal to my ID. So how do we get my ID? We get it from the row. So let's just set it right here and say my ID is equal to row ID. Easy peasy, yes. Oh, 
But wait a minute, here we are setting everything to scene. But we are only supposed to set the ones where I am the recipient. So I have to make sure that... Uh, hmm... Okay, but actually, instead of uh, having to loop here, we could do something uh, more interesting. Because um, we know the thread ID, okay? And also we know that I have to be the receiver in order to have the scene ticked there. So I think we can just do a general query instead of having to loop through yeah okay so that's what we will do instead so i will remove my loop sadly let's go back here more general query so message id is what i need most message id is equal to row message id now, raw doesn't exist anymore, we have data, but it doesn't matter, we can just get from the very first item, the very first uh, returned row, because the message IDs are the same throughout, so this will work fine. So here I will copy this, where message ID is equal to message ID. So set scene where message ID is equal to message ID, but it's important that I am the receiver. So where receiver is equal to me and something like that. Okay, that does it. And we are home and dry. So every time we read, it's done. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, it's important, let me go back to messages, or messages, to show me which of these messages is not read yet. So I will right click here and inspect the element. I want to change the background color, which is right here. So I will irritate the background color like that, just to show that uh, this one is an unread message. So copy that and let's go to thread.php shall we where are you thread.php hmm so right here uh, thread.php has a background color of that one but we can do some checking yes and then we can add a background color of our choice so what i will do here is put some php tags like i saw and then set that to color something like that. so you can name whatever you want there so but i just want this to echo out the color yeah yeah okay so where do i get the color from so first of all let me put some php tags here First of all, I will set color to the default, and I'll say color is equal to, what was the default, EEE, -E, something like this, and of course I need to put it in brackets or quotes like that, because it's a string, and then we'll ask the question, if, wait a minute, wait a minute, uh, yes, it's inside message, mm -hmm. so, if message scene mm -hmm. if message scene uh, because that's the last message right if message scene is equal to one oh zero actually then let's change our color and i will paste that color gladly over there so refresh and as you can see both of them have uh, unsee unread messages yeah so let's click on this one and make sure that we see this one let's go back to our messages and it hasn't changed so which means 
the scene uh, part of this did not work. So let's check it out here. But apparently it did. I'm fine and how are you? Looks like it set up the wrong side, the wrong scene. So what should be the scene message here? It should be, this is a new message, yeah? This should be scene. Where is this? This is a new message. So this one should have scene is equal to one, but it doesn't. So uh, so what am I doing wrong here? 